Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial we will learn about the conditional statements. So conditional statements are very important because they are used in every project. Even project have a small size, medium or large, we need them. Alright, so these are the points of this video. First of all, we will see that how we can use the if condition, if else condition, conditions with a string because we, these two conditions we will use with the uh, boolean values. Then we will try them with a string. Then how we will see that how we can use the else if and we also see that how we can use make the conditions with the property binding also. Right. So now let's get started. We need two files. Here we will define our properties. Uh, which is uh, app.component.ts and app.component.html here we will define uh, the HTML right so first of all I am just going to define a h1 tag and here let's write here if block right so by default you can see this block there's a no issue but I just want to make that if some value is true then I just want to show it otherwise it should be hard right so I'm just going to take a property with the name of show and uh, let's say its value is true. In case of true, this should be visible, right? So I will just going to write here star ng if, right? And uh, then we can just simply put here show. And this show means it will just visible because its value is true. Here you can see that. And if I am just going to put it false, then you can see that this is invisible great so this is our first point all right so now you just want to say that uh, if we have a false statement with the show then the else block should be visible okay that's great for that we need a ng template so just write here ng template yep and here I am just going to write here h1 tag again and just write here else block by default it will be hidden because uh, ng template will be visible only some uh, conditional statements or when values uh, when, when values are true and all right so how we can show it so for that I have to just mention here ID let's say I just want to mention here else block and I can use here show and else if this condition is uh, sorry show and if condition is failed that means else then else block should be visible right now you can see that we got an else block okay so let's make it true let's check the if condition with this case also right now you can see that we have else block if block yep my bad okay so we watch the both of case now let's say I just want to check with the string so let's say it don't have the boolean value it's have yes then how can I check it right or uh, for that we can just simply check here show equal equal to yes right if this have the yes then if block should be visible right now may you have one more demand that uh, if we have a else block in with the ng template then why we don't have is if block with the ng template also okay so I should uh, complete your demand so let's make it another one and just write here uh, if block right and here you can just write here this if in this case this case is true then uh, we have to put here if block right uh, right so if the show property have the yes then if block should be visible and we can just remove it from here yes we have a else block why um, let me check because we put the same text in the both right so now let's check it again and and and, and we find here if block so if block else block is working fine Great. So now you may have another another demand that uh, okay this is the if and else statement. So where is else if statement? How we can put them? Okay. So for that we are going to use here uh, ng if with the property binding. How? I will just show you. 
so here I'm just going to put here some color name let's say show have a red color uh, we have a different condition on a red different condition on a green and different condition on a uh, blue color right so how we can do it for that you just have to write here ng template let's make it close and here we have to just write here with the property binding and guys if you don't know how property binding is work and what is the syntax uh, if you just want to uh, uh, learn property binding in the deep then you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box so just write here ng if and uh, in case we will check that show have red color right and red should be in the string so we have a h1 text and just write here red block yeah so this is visible okay so now let's make a two more block with the same thing let's say one with the green and another one is with the blue Yeah, so now you will see only red block because we have a show equal to red. So let's make it green. Now we have a okay. Let me check again. My bad. I just have to write green text and blue one. Yeah, if you just want to make it uh, looking pretty, then you can just make it format. Okay now green color and let's make it blue and we will record a blue block great so this is the way that how we can use the conditional statements in angular with the if condition if else condition with if else with a state uh, string and how we can use the property binding with the uh, if else conditions also so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care